Hello, people of the world, um, friends, uh, Doctor Who fans, and and people that I've I've forced to come and watch this video. Well, this week, welcome, welcome, hello, hello. Um, we are seeing, watching, d d reviewing, doing phone. Uh, yes, dinosaurs on a spaceship <laughs> with a queen from Egypt and a a, a, a British explorer and and. Um, the Doctor and the Pawns, uh, and Mark Williams is Rory's dad! <laughs> How fantastic is that? That's a sublime bit of casting. Now, um, where should we start? Let's start with a negative for a change, and never start with a negative. It all felt so brief. There were so many things beginning there, and nothing kind of got explored, or, you know, looked at, picked apart, and, you know, eaten, eaten. Sorry, that's an odd phrasing. Um, but it was good. I mean, what was really enjoyable about that episode was that it, it was, uh, for me, I just I just enjoyed how it was just this fantastic big romp that went up and down. Uh, it was so utterly Doctor Who and and had some interesting little bits of, of fan fun and, 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 and then was done and left me kind of going, I want to know more. You know, I wanted to know more about... Um, uh, Rory's dad, Brian, played by Mark Williams, as I said, uh, who's known uh, for many things, sketch shows, all the rest of it, but mostly these days known for being um, Rupert Grint's Ron Weasley's dad in uh, Arthur Weasley in High Potter. Um, so he's known for that. Um, Queen Nefertiti... Well, I'm getting lost now. Okay, so yeah, I mean, there was all so much stuff going on there, and it was, it was just <sighs> wanted things to kind of be more explored. But anyway, back to the point. Really good, really interesting. Doctor, the Doctor. Um, really interesting. There's spoilers, so I mean that's obvious now because that's a... the Doctor choosing to very obviously leave Solomon when he very clearly is Solomon the Pirate, very marvellously played by David Bradley, when he very obviously could have saved him and very easily could have done so, uh, it's quite a little shift, I think, because I think, you know, the 10th Doctor, David Tennant, had had, had a, a policy of no second chances and he was very firm about that, you know, so he would, all, but he would always let, let someone have a chance. And at the beginning of the 11th Doctor tenure, he would always try and save the bad guys you know, not just the good guys, but always trying to save the bad guys, even if they were absolutely evil and awful and terrible. And this seems like a little interesting change in the Doctor, the Doctor, not just the 11th Doctor, but the Doctor as a character as a whole, changing, you know, um, becoming a bit less tolerant again. Because, of course, at the beginning, as uh, many of you will, will um, point out, um, the Doctor was very intolerant. I mean, my friend Neil often goes on about how um, the first Doctor, one, in, in the, one of the first adventures, the first Doctor tries to crush a man, uh, a caveman's head uh, with, a, with a rock <laughs> because he's irritated and his companions have to stop him. So, that's really interesting. It was interesting to see that. David Bradley is the, the space pirate uh, who's really mostly known for playing Argus Filch, again in Harry Potter. The caretaker, and he always tends to play these kind of you know mumbling roles. So it was interesting to see a role where he was actually speaking, using words, and being a character rather than just a mumbling fool. Because I mean, he was also in Hot Fuzz, and in that again, he was just going, "Every game we're doing, we got everything we burn," you know, and just didn't really have very much of a, a proper role or a proper character. Whereas this seemed to have a more of an interesting thing to it. Um, River Graves again, woefully underused um, but interesting beginnings to character. I'm sure we'll probably see him again. Queen Nefertiti, again interesting, not touched one. Amy and Roy, interesting stuff there. It was all just interesting. Dinosaurs. It was, it was a Silurian arc. I loved that. The the reference to the, the Silurians and their situation. That was just great. It's all good. I, I I really enjoyed that. That was a really fun episode of Doctor Who and I, I hope you all enjoyed it as well. I mean you just, you just can't fault it. I mean, it's just like last week there were things that irritated me. Um, I suppose you know. Where, whereas this week, I think it helped. That I had no expectations. It was just kind of like, ha, 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 ha. Yes, that's fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna go now. Um, but tell me what you think. Give me your thoughts. Um, did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you? Did you? Did you? Were you meh? Did you not care? 
Um, do you hate Doctor Who and you don't know why you're watching this? Tell me, tell me, tell us, tell the world. Uh, we'll be on here and I'll be back next week to review um, uh, the, the A Town Called Mercy, which I, I, I don't have um, the Doctor Who magazine cover for, so I can't do this again. Um, so I'll just go uh, A Town Called Mercy with really rubbish jazz hands. Okay, goodbye everyone!